Hi, we're here with Miss Motormouth, Michelle Naranjo, for some to be released later driving impressions of the new Fiesta. Miss Motormouth. Yes. As you uh, as you cane it along this road here. <laughs> uh, what's your impression of the driving dynamics of this exciting new B segment vehicle from Ford? Um, I, I like how this little car drives. It drives, it's really nice and tight, and it responds really well to me. But then, you know, I, like I said, I compare everything to my Z3. Do you think this is faster than your Z3? No, it's not faster than my Z3, but it responds to me the same way. <laughs> Do you think that if you had a head start that you could beat the Z3 in this? Um, I'd have to have a really big head start. Okay. What did you think about it? Um, well, I'd like to concentrate more on your driving impressions, Ms. Motormouth, this being your show. <laughs> um, so, how are the brakes? Because you're using them a lot. <laughs> that was mean. I, do, I use them. I... Just answer the question, please. <laughs> you're challenging me. That, I use I downshift more than I brake. Yeah, how's that clutch? It's gonna be worn out real soon. Okay. How, uh, how, how do you feel about the initial quality of turn in as we turn into a road here? It seems to turn just fine. It does seem to turn just fine, doesn't it? Okay, I won't use the brake or the clutch until we get to the hotel. Yeah, that's a great idea, because are we, are, do you think they'll put us all in the same ambulance, or do you think we'll get different ones? <laughs> well, that was a big rock that we just drove that real close to. Rock. Oh, look, someone caught us. Oh, no. Well, that's Ron Myers driving the car that I drove on the way here. This is bad for my rep. Oh. Maybe that car is just faster. Maybe. Sedan's faster, do you think? Uh, there'd be no reason for it to be, but you know, it could be more aerodynamic. When I was racing Spec Focus, we noticed that on the back straight at Mid Ohio, the sedan seemed a little faster. So, do you feel confident with this car? I do. I think the one thing I don't feel confident about is <laughs> the fact that you're in it and I'm probably driving it completely wrong. I don't criticize the way other journalists drive. Never. 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 <laughs> Never. Well, and I still haven't fi figured out a reason why there's a fifth gear yet. <laughs> I think when we get to 280, you'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, you can probably wave Ron around, actually, because he's a good kid, and he wants You're to go fast. Go? Yeah. There you go, let me buy on the corner. Go ahead. Hey, he's, go as, on, he's on. as meek as a kitten. <laughs> Come on, Ron. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Yeah, it'd be awesome if the world's biggest dump truck came around the turn right now. <laughs> Michelle kills the turn list. <laughs> Ron Meyer, head of uh, Focal Jet and now Fiesta something. They're not Fiesta, Fiesta. Ex Expre ex ex Exposition. Is it, ex is it Fiesta's Fiesta Faction? Thank you, faction. sir. Thank you. We're with an unnamed Ford engineer. We would call him a very senior Ford engineer. We can't tell you who he is because he just told us secret details about Ford's model lineup for the future and also certain disturbing aspects of the personal lives of major executives. So we're not going to turn the camera around. In the adult film industry. <laughs> we need to go back to LA for that stuff. Alright, well I guess I'll give a couple of my impressions here. Okay. We'll keep the camera on you because research shows that viewers would rather look at you than at me. Except for that very small demographic between 35 and 45 female viewers. And yeah. about half of them are into you anyway.
Wait, so you attract what age of female viewers? 35 to 45 is my core demographic. Yes, and I, I attract the 25 to 35 males. Uh, okay, good. All right. Um, yeah, I have limited reach down in that 25-year-old female demographic. I mean, I have some reach. I guess I could name some names, but I won't because you're going to put this up. Anyway, um, so my impression of the car is that it could use a little more rebound damping, but in all other regards, it's a, uh, it's a really excellent vehicle. It has a lot of brake, relatively speaking. It's common for cars in this class to be under braked, and we didn't get that impression at all out of the car. The engine is soft at low revs, but you know it has good pull near, near the uh, 5,000 RPM and up. About is when it seems to go. The gear, the gear spacing is pretty well chosen for back road work. Uh, second gear doesn't get called on a lot. A lot, a lot of stuff's third gear. The traction control, stability control is not terribly intrusive. Even on a wet road, it is possible to spin the inside front wheel in different circumstances, but the TC will let you get away with that a little bit before it intervenes. <clears throat> when it does intervene, it's pretty calm about it. Uh, under mild trail braking, the, the uh, tail does rotate a bit. Same, you can point the nose with a throttle left in the mid corner. Um, the front end feels adequately damped, like said, the back end maybe not so much. We did drive the sedan on the way up and I was it was suggested to me yeah, that I, yeah, I tried the five door because it might feel like it has a little more rebound damping because there's less lever action. You don't have that big bumper weight hung out at the end. Can you feel any difference in this one? Well, no, I think. Yeah, by the way, I'm driving. No, I wonder if I were driving back to back, it'd be it'd be interesting to see. But one thing I noticed, I was looking at the at the frame of the car, the unibody, which they had available for us to look at, and I was really impressed with the amount of weld surface they've got in the car. With the apparently the boron, you know, get your boron, as they say. Uh, there's a lot of high strength steel in the car. The the roll hoop looks really nice, and the uh, the front frame horns are very stiff, and very boxy. There, it just seems to be an exceptionally solidly constructed car. And I've gone through and seen welded and fussed with a bunch of small cars, and I think this has got to be one of the most solid ones I've seen. And the weight reflects that. You know, it's this one's 2,537 pounds, I think. But it feels like it has enough engine, and it's a very willing back road partner. You really, this will go awfully fast on a back road. Any faster than that, you're really into dangerous territory. And I, I would venture to guess that it's going to be considerably faster on a back road than any of this B segment competition, the Fit, the Yaris, the Versa, particularly, um, the Accent, the Rio, all that stuff is. Would be would be left way behind, and of course it feels like a big solid car. It's very quiet on the freeway. Yeah, it, it feels uh, it has a lot of Audi A3 to it in terms of feel and execution. And that is a car from the proverbial class up. So, anything else to add, Miss Motormouth? How much ransom are we asking for this engineer in the back? Um, we're asking for two Fiestas, one for you and one for me. Okay, which one do you want? I want a green five door with all the options. What do you want? I think I would take the five door too. But then I can't say green because then it's going to be like copycat. Yeah, it's okay to copy me because I'm, I'm really cool. You can want to be like me. It's all right. <laughs> Don't fight the feeling. <laughs> I'm going to grow a beard. And my hair. See, I've already started growing my hair so I could be like you. Yeah, my hair is long. How, how is it that the guy in the car has the longest hair? Um, uh, that's all right. Because he's more vain. I probably think that comment was about me. <laughs> um, all right, well, then we're going to um, we're gonna bring this driving impression to a halt, but I would wrap it up by saying that the new Ford Fiesta brings a serious slice of that traditionally well-regarded European B segment to the U.S. at a price that is fair. It's not a bargain, but when you factor in the equipment and the quality of the car, I think it's more than fair. And the people who buy it, I think, are unlikely to be disappointed. The end. Thank you.